Raja to the A to the Shad, M to the Shad to the V. Hey guys, he's Shafi. This is Roger Ishad. We're going to bake cocoa oatmeal cookies by Coquette. So we have been prepared with an eco pack. All right, and this is how the eco pack looks like. Pretty cute. Okay, and I'm going to open up the box to show you guys what are the ingredients inside. So we have baking paper, brown sugar. This is an egg, by the way. Safety wrap. Heavily secured. Mm -hmm. Unsalted butter, sugar, salt. And for the second ingredient, we have the pre-mixed ingredients which are pre-measured for our convenience. So Shafi, do you normally bake cookies or cakes or anything like that? During Raya, I'll be the uh, sous chef, I'll be their personal huh? assistant. Mm. So yeah, and I'll be the one that got nagged by <laughs> my mom. So now we're gonna open our Cooks at Asia to have a look at the recipe to see what we need to do first. So Shafi, do the honors of reading the first step. Please. Step number one, in a mixing bowl. There. Alright, mixing bowl. Add butter. Add butter, ooh. Brown sugar, castor sugar, egg yolk, and salt. So we have to whisk it until smooth and it's creamy. Really? Okay. While you do that, let me just open the, yes. the rest. Thank you very much. Well, Shafi, since you say you are normally the helper when it comes to cooking or baking, right? Would you like to do more action here? I would do that. But? You can ask me what to do, Raja. <laughs> I'm in your service. Oh no, we're doing this together. So you sugar. can pour it inside and I can we'll do that. Enjoy. This is the castor sugar. Castor sugar is very uh, much more smaller than regular sugar. So let me just... Salt. This is the okay. salt. So normally, Shafi, during Raya, right? What kind of uh, kueh would you and your family bake? Just a normal chocolate uh, cookie chips. Oh, I'll be the one that put in, uh, put in the cookie uh, chocolate chips. Onto so, the cookie. And after that, I'm done. I'm done, Ibu. <laughs> I have to go now. I have to do my things. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to cook the egg yolk, oh, right. the yellow stuff in the whisk bowl, and there you go. Oh, so now we're going to mix the dough. So we're going to use an electric mixer on the speed of number one. Okay, wish me luck, Shafi. <laughs> you can do it, let's oh, go. Oh, nice. And this is not as easy as it seems. So everyone, we're going to just mix the batter until it becomes a little bit creamy. So Shafi, nice. have you ever cooked for your family members or not? For your loved ones? I would say the first time that I cooked for someone is for my friends, for my housemates. Oh, nice. Back in uh, uni. Um, honestly speaking, I would say no because um, there's a lot of things you can get at the grocery store. And unlike most people, I actually really, really enjoy going to the grocery. Um, when I was studying back uh, in the UK, whenever I were to go to Tesco, I would actually bring a full-on hand luggage or actually a big, a big check-in bag to put all my grocery items inside so I don't have to carry it out. Knowing Roger, I would see maybe he was really hungry, so I let him, I let him have it, knowing Roger. So it's okay, big bro, you can have it. Okay. That's very kind of him because if the exact reverse will happen to me, I will become the house. Because what? I, I'm sorry, it's not you, it's just me. Because I really love my food and if I saved it in the fridge, that means I'm saving it for a special occasion or a special time of the day. So when I open the fridge and it's not there, Lord knows. I think we're good with the texture, uh, Roger. Okay, so step one is done. Now we're going to do step two, which is to add ingredients B using the spatula until we combine it and form it into a dough. Ingredients B is already pre-made and pre-measured, so it is very easy. All we have to do is cut it open and put it inside the mixing bowl. So to make your life easier, instead of using the spatula, you can actually also use your hands. So for hygiene purposes, make sure to wear a plastic food glove, and then you can just, how do I say, squeeze the dough in. It makes it a lot easier. And to be honest, this is actually one of the fun things I like about baking. Yeah, when you get your hands dirty. Because <laughs> mm. at the end, so normally if I were to cook for myself, I would not wear the gloves. I would use my hands, of course clean hands. And at the end, I look forward to tasting my fingers. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a good, <laughs> that's a good method. Indeed. Okay, Roger, while okay. you do that, uh -huh. I'm going to put this baking paper on top of the tray. Okay. Which is already provided inside the eco pack. Okay, the next step is we have to transfer the dough Great. onto the tray. We have to make it into small balls. Small balls. Okay, so perhaps around this size, yeah? That is perfect. Cool. Then we continue on until we finish all the batter onto the tray. I'll help you with that, Roger. Alright, come. And there you go. Alright. So we've rolled the dough into small balls and placed them on the baking tray. So always remember to not put too many, I guess you can say, balls onto a tray. Because once you put the baking tray into the oven, when it bakes, the cookie will expand. 
So if you put too many onto the tray, there will be not enough space for the cookie to expand. Then it might overlap on top of each other. And then we use a metal fork to flatten it to give it a bit of a texture on top of the cookie. Just one time is enough. All right. Just one time? Just one time, correct. There we go, nice. So the next step is we will bake it in preheated oven at 140 to 150 Celsius for 35 minutes and rotate the tray at uh, 50 minutes. All and right. we're done. Elf. And we're done. Yes, everyone. So this is our hard work for today. So let us give it a taste. Come, Shafi, take one. Okay, sure. Okay, ready? Let's cheers, let's cheers. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay. Wow. Mm. Mm. Really good. Mm. Love the factor and I think the cocoa. Yeah. Right. Really? So, Shafi, if we want to like download the full recipe or maybe get this eco pack, what do we have to do? Yeah? So, if you guys want to buy the eco pack and also to get the full recipe, please download Cook Asia app.